Hello and welcome to the New York Stock Exchange and SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Jane King and with me today is John Nashup, the CEO of Eclipsis, yes. a cybersecurity company's hot yes. area. So welcome, John. Yes. So start Pleasure by to be here. giving me just an overview of Eclipsis. What does the company do? Uh, Eclipsis is a cybersecurity company with a technology that they invented and created from scratch that's called a micro token exchange. Okay. And we protect data in a unique way that nobody else in the world does. Okay, so that micro token is your secret sauce, your proprietary technology. Yes. What can you tell me about that? What makes it different? What makes it different is we made the assumption that the hackers of the world are always going to find a way and in, get into a system. Okay. We went inside the system and said, let's make the data invisible. And we did that by this unique process of replacing the data with a micro token and exchanging the, the real data. So if the hackers are getting in, don't use real data. Okay. Exchange it with a micro token. Interesting, and, and this is, it's not just credit cards, it's other things too, right? Social security numbers, I mean, walk me through the whole process. As somebody who's not a technology person but does care about protecting my data, what? Would I, how would I benefit sure. from this? What, what to you as an individual is different than what we would do for at the corporate level. We would work with the companies that are providing the software to you and they would install our technology at that level. Okay. And what it is is we're going to protect all the sensitive data. And so <laughs> whether it's a social security number, a credit card number, uh, a PIN number, a bank account number, uh, when you're dealing with data at rest, it could be in the medical field, it could be in the insurance field, it could be in uh, the credit card payment field. It's all basically similar, where we go in with our technology, connect to their software, and then we start the process of that micro token exchange. Okay, how do I know if the bank or the retailer, or whatever I'm exchanging a financial transaction with, is using your technology? They might tell you and they might not. Um, part of the, the secret to the hackers is not to tell them what you're doing. Okay. And th they might say, you know, secured by Eclipsis. They may not. Okay. That's up to them. Okay. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> once we're in and connected, the technology is working flawlessly, and they love it. So tell me, give me a little history of the company. How long has it been around? How were you based? Sure. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're based out of Colorado Springs. Okay. Uh, right next, uh, not next to, but it's an exit down from the Air Force Academy. Okay. Uh, it's a hub for technology folks, and it allows us to have a good talent pool to pick from. Uh, we're about uh, 22 employees, roughly, in Colorado Springs and growing, and then we have uh, employees around the country that are involved in uh, management and sales. Uh, and, and we're, like I said, a grown concern. Mm -hmm. We've been around about four years. Uh, most of that time was developing the technology and the platform so we could be ready for the market. Mm -hmm. And we have a fully functional, ready to adopt technology today. Okay. Now, are you looking for um, another round of financing or an IPO at some point? Or Both, Where are you? yes, okay. uh, we are. Um, we're looking for another round of financing today um, and we're working on that uh, as we speak. Uh, as an emerging, uh, growing company, uh, resources are always uh, important. Sure. Uh, we mm -hmm. need to add more bodies uh, to our growing operation mm -hmm. uh, to expand. And someday uh, in, in the near future, we expect that we will uh, possibly do an IPO. Okay, um, so let's talk about the, um, you have four main categories. So digital vault, payment services, safety deposit box, and commands to connected intelligent devices. Yes. Can we, let's go either over each one of those briefly. Sure. Digital vault. Okay. What's that? So the, the digital vault, let, well, let me start with the digital safety deposit box. Okay. That's a product called Certain Safe. <clears throat> and that's a product that's designed to allow the individual uh, user to go online from their phone, from their tablet, <clears throat> excuse me, and be able to have access uh, to a uh, what we call a digital data vault. So you can put all of your private information, all your private documents, your your passport in in other sensitive information okay. into this digital vault. And then from there you have access anywhere in the world to it. And so you can create uh, privacy rules, you can share information. Let's say you're overseas and something happens and you have to contact something 
you you have access to all your information. Is that cloud-based? Yes, or? it is. Okay. We're a cloud-based yeah. uh, uh, platform, and uh, that's called Certain Safe. Okay. It's a product all by itself, okay. and it's a singular product, uh, and you access it, like I said, uh, through the cloud. Uh, the other products that we have are what we call for data at rest and data in motion. Those are the two main categories. The data at rest is the digital safety, uh, digital vault. And, and that's where we secure information from one system to the next system. Uh, in, in, in data uh, at rest is where a bank would use information like that, a credit card would company or, or a retailer or, or any um, hospital system, um, insurance company, they all would use data at rest um, in, in our technology. And what we do there is we connect with the software they're already using and we remove the sensitive data, replace it with the micro token, and then make it available in real time for them to utilize as they need it when they're operating their system. Okay. And we do something unique around that as well, and we do what's called micro encryption. So we take the individual piece of data, so let's say you've got a million social security numbers. Instead of one you know, uh, secured uh, encrypted file, we break it down into a million pieces of encrypted data. Mm -hmm. And then we make it available one at a time to you so you're never exposing the whole database the whole thing at once. for a hacker to be able to get into. Yeah. And the hacker's looking for where he thinks it is, but it's not there. Okay. And so he can't get access to it. Okay, very interesting. And this is such a huge problem. Uh, the yes. hacking into retailers and credit card numbers and people have them and they try to sell them. Yes. And, um, it's, are there any competitors, anything, anybody else doing anything similar to this? Yes, they, they, we have competitors and, and we say that anybody's in the cybersecurity space is a competitor. Okay. But then you break it into subcategories. What do they do? Okay. What type of security protocol do they divide? Nobody does what we do mm -hmm. in that sense. So we are unique in, in the space that we're in in what we provide for security. Mm -hmm and then we move into the other area of the Internet of Things. It's an acronym for yeah. connected devices, right? Well, I was going to ask about that. So this technology could also apply to the Internet of Things, which yes. it seems like we're headed that way. And, and that's what we call all the, also the intelligent uh, connected device okay. market. Mm -hmm. That's any device, take your phone for instance, um, with an app connected to your automobile. And you know you can start your car with your phone, right? Mm -hmm. That's a dangerous situation because a hacker can hack into that bitstream, steal the signal. When you go into the store, they yeah. go and start the car. Oh, and they take control the of the car. I yeah. mean, it can be terrifying. Uh, yes, yeah. it can be. It's a very mm -hmm. serious problem that the automobile companies are working to address. We're working with some of them right now, and it, it works for any connected uh, device. Uh, it could be a military application, satellite to a missile, it wow. could be uh, an autonomous automobile, uh, it, it could be a robotic application, it could be a coffee machine, it could yeah. be a washing machine, you know, all those connected devices are very dangerous. And, and, and not from the hacker wanting to do something to that device, it's a portal, an entryway for them to get to the sensitive to important get the other data. Stuff. Well, if, if this works, as you say, I mean, this market is enormous. Yes. I mean, is it a trillion dollar market? Uh, it, it could be at that level. Uh, cyber security is growing exponentially sure. every year. We're into the hundreds of billions now in a global basis. And it, it's growing at, at 20 to 30% annually. The numbers are really big. Um, in, in the global theft of money and IP mm -hmm. is in the trillions already. Yeah. And it's, it's a real serious problem for every individual, every business, every government, everywhere in the world. Okay, so, so what's yes. next for Eclipsis? Next is for us to continue to expand our okay. operation and, and grow our technology and get it into the different critical verticals that we see uh, that are important to both our nation and, and to uh, other areas of business. You know, utility systems, uh, automobiles, military applications, all critical uh, to protect. Uh, and on the consumer side, dealing with the companies that are processing credit card data, that are doing things, although the credit card companies do a pretty good job at that, mm -hmm. 
Um, the retailers need help with it they do, because yeah. they're getting hacked every day. Yeah. There's a, a breach somewhere, everywhere, all the time. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much and best of luck and thank, thank you for you. sharing the story of Eclipsis. It sounds potentially like it could be good for people and good for business. So thank you. Thank you, John Nashef, the CEO of Eclipsis, and thank you as well for joining us on SCN Corporate Connect. I'm Jane King from the New York Stock Exchange.